and welcome to my studio. And today we're going to be doing a beginner tap dance combination to Rehab by Amy Winehouse. So I've gotten a lot of requests for more beginner tutorials on all platforms, like beginner mini tutorials like I have on YouTube Shorts and uh, full length tutorials that are more beginner based and I'm here for it. I absolutely love teaching beginners so these are like some of my favorite videos to film. So. Thank you for the requests. If you would like more of these, please continue to let me know because that tells me what I should do in like my next filming session. So yes, today we're going to have a lot of fun with Rehab by Amy Winehouse. I love this song. I hope y'all do too. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Also, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, do the thing. Cool. So we start with three full lap heels and a ball change, and then three full lap heels and a ball change. Also, I'm very real on this channel, and I do like to tell y'all when something funny is going on. There are golfers like five feet behind my backyard outside, and they're just like, I think they can't find their ball, and I think it's the funniest thing. Anyway, they're, they're gone now. <laughs> they're like walking around like this, and I'm like, what you doing? <laughs> so yeah, if I love to distract it, it's because I was amused. It's, it's just funny. Okay. Anyway, um, falapio, 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 ball change twice. So you start with the right foot. One, two, three, ball change. So you have three falapios and a ball change. And then your left foot's free and you're going to do it on the left side. So three on the three starting with the right, so right, left, right, and then ball change left, right. And remember to put your ball change behind you. Ball change. Then other side, you start with the left foot. Heel. Now your right foot's free. We ball change. So let's try that together. Right and then left. Ready? Five, six. heels, try to relax your foot a little bit so that it's not like don't try to point your foot. Let it relax. Let the flap come from up here and just let your foot relax into it. Put your weight on it. Then drop your heel. So biggest like correction that I make when I teach class is in flaps and shuffles. Relax your foot a little bit more and just let it brush step into it. Don't think about, okay, well, it's like ballet, so I have to like point my foot. The minute you tense that foot, it gets so much harder to do it faster. So, three flap heels and a ball change, three flap heels and a ball change. Let's do this together. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, ball change. One, two, three, ball change. Good, from there, you have two paradiddles. So you have big swing, step, heel, big swing, step, heel. So two nice and slow paradiddles starting with the right foot. One, two. Then your right foot's free, you have a shuffle step heel. And then ball change step. Ball change step. I'm stamping, I'm full foot stamping, so we'll call it ball change stamp. So ball change step. You can also treat it like a back essence or pas de bourree, where you're just going pas de bourree. It's the same step either way, so however you want to think of it is absolutely fine with me. So, two paradiddles, one, two, and then you have shuffle step heel, ball change step. So that's continuous sound. Paradiddle, paradiddle, shuffle, step, heel, ball, change, step. It is continuous eighth notes the whole way. So let's try that together. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. I know I counted it in quarter notes. I'm silly that way. So let's try it one more time. I'll count it in eighth notes this time. A couple of my musician people are like, thought you said those were eighth notes. And I'm over here like, I meant to. I meant to. 
All right, let's try it again. From paradiddle, five, six, seven, eight. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, Good, okay, now let's go from the top, from flap heel, all the way through there, and then we'll try it with music, okay? So two sets of flap heel, flap heel, flap heel, ball change, and then paradiddle, paradiddle, shuffle, step heel, pas de We got this. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. finger style guitar cover, which means it's somebody's interpretation of the song. So it's a little different than you're used to hearing, but I promise this dance fits to the original song as well. So once you're done learning this, if you prefer to practice it to Amy Winehouse's version, go for it. It fits it perfectly. It was choreographed to that version. I'm just using this version for YouTube's sake, but also to let you know this guy's stuff is really good. So his information will be in the description below. Check out his covers. He's phenomenal. I was listening to him on a loop while I was running today. It was the most relaxed run I've ever had. Probably shouldn't have done that just because you shouldn't be relaxed while you run, but you know what I mean. All right, let's do it. <laughs> transition from the first part to the second part of that part yeah <laughs> and we're just getting a little bit more comfortable with it okay we got this No big. All right, let's do it. laptop bags, camera mounts. Yeah, it's black cats. If you guys have black cats and that ever happens to you, please let me know in the comments. It is a thing. All right, so next part. We just did ball change step. So your right foot is free. So we're gonna do three buffalo steps. Now they're a little on the slow side and that's good because if you're an advanced beginner, you can maybe practice your double buffaloes instead of single buffaloes, because they're on the slow side, it gives you a good amount of time to practice. The reason why I like them for a beginner video or a beginner tutorial slower is because you, I really, really want you to separate the sounds. That is the one step that I know that like a lot of times we do, we miss one of our shuffle sounds because we land too early. 
we do too many things at the same time, but you need to do like one thing at a time. Otherwise you can't separate the sounds and then you miss sounds. Technically you don't miss them. You just did it at the same time as another sound. So you didn't hear it. And that's the frustrating part. It happens with pullbacks. It happens with tons and tons of steps. Buffalo's where I see it a lot, where we miss, especially this part of the shuffle. We miss that a lot. So they're nice and slow so that you can practice. Step, shuffle, cross. Step, shuffle, cross. Okay, so let's try it. Three of them. Five, six, seven, eight. Step, shuffle, cross. Step, shuffle, cross. Step, shuffle, cross. And then you finish it off with and seven and eight. So it's a cramp roll. Step, step, heel, heel. And seven and eight. So you go into it right away. So let's try adding the cramp roll. And as you can see, the buffaloes are nice and slow. I know some people might say, they're too slow, they're boring, and I get it, but let this be a good practice for getting that shuffle nicely timed. One and a two, three and a four. Practice that timing of the shuffle. Open up the shuffle, get both sounds. Okay, let's try it again. Five, six, seven, eight. One and a two. So you go right into that cramp roll. One more time, and then we'll move on to the next piece of this. Five, six, seven, eight. One, and two, three, and four. Five, and six, and seven, and eight. Good. From there, you have two. Broadways, Manhattans, Shirley Temples, Alexanders, Butterflies, Whatever you call them, there are so many names for this step. It's like the one step that has a billion names. And I love learning all of them. It's so cool. Um, so we're going to do that step. You have it on the right and then you have it on the left. If you've never done this step before, I have a step tutorial in my step tutorials playlist right in the description right below this video. Click on that. Look for Broadway or Shirley Temple or Manhattan. I promise you'll find it because I labeled them all of it. <laughs> I labeled this step with all those names. So learn the step and then come back to this video. I'll go over it briefly right now, but just in case you need a little bit more like tutorial on that, it's right below. Okay, so you have, I'm gonna call it a Broadway for the purpose of this video because that is what I call it, but I understand it has a billion names. And statistically speaking, you probably call it a Shirley Temple. Because I would say, in a, at least in America, 70% um, of the tappers that I know call it a Shirley Temple. I'm that weird 10% that calls it a Broadway. <laughs> Probably because my teacher was had like an Australian style. But anyway, whatever you call it, it's this step. So we have full lap heel heel, opposite heel first, spank heel toe heel. And then you go on the other side. Full lap. Opposite heel first, spank, heel, toe, heel. So once you switch, you want to make sure your weight is firmly planted in that standing foot so that you can balance and lift and drop your heel twice. So let's do right and then left. Five, six, seven, eight. Roll up, heel, heel, spank, heel, toe, heel. Roll up, heel, heel, spank, heel, toe. Good. Okay, let's add it to buffaloes. Okay? Five, six, seven, eight. Step, shuffle, cross. Step, shuffle, cross. Step, shuffle, cross. Step, step, heel, heel. Roll up, heel, heel, step, heel, toe, heel. Roll up, heel, heel, step, heel, toe, heel. That's the other thing. It starts on and one. So that first brush of the flap is and, the end of eight. And what? And two. So you just did and seven and eight. And one. Right away it goes into it. So let's try that one more time from the buffaloes. Then we'll add it with music. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One and a two. Three and a four. Five and a six and seven and eight. And one and two and three and four and five and six and seven eight. Awesome. Okay, let's do that with music, adding it on from the top.
especially if you've done them before, but this is, an, again, a really good opportunity to practice making sure the opposite heel goes down first, because that is the most common mistake people make. So use this as a good opportunity to practice the fundamentals in context. Cool. Let's try it again. This time we'll get just a little bit more comfortable with it. Nothing crazy, nothing perfect. We got this. one does so the advanced one stops where we just stopped but I fit like a whole bunch more in there but since this was so like spread out I wanted to add just a little bit more so if you've done both or you've looked at both and you're like why is one of them longer than the other it's just because I wanted to give like the same amount of material but because it was slower I had to go a little longer that's what I'm saying all right let's try this one more time and then we move on to the last section <laughs> tutorials I love this step but if you've never done it before I want to explain it so it's one and two and now when you move your toe out don't go like like crazy with the turnout because you're gonna end up falling off like that's too far don't like over turn out just like just a little like 30 degrees 40 degrees nothing crazy so one and two and three and four and five and six and so you have three of them right left right Let's try that. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and ball change step or pas de bourre. Just like we did. Did we do that? Yeah, we did. I was like, wait, I looked at the thing. I was like, I don't see that. Yes, ball change step or pas de bourre just like we did before after the paradiddle, paradiddle, shuffle, stuff heel. Okay, <laughs> so we have one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. So let's try that. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Good. Okay, the last line is almost exactly the same, but instead of stomp toe, heel toe, you're doing three paradiddles. Okay, one. Good. Okay. So let's try. Stomp toe, heel toe, stomp toe, heel toe, stomp toe, heel toe, pas de bourre. Paradiddle, 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 pas de bourre. Or ball change step. Either way, it's the same thing. So from the stomp toe, heel toe into the paradiddles. We got this. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and ball change step. One.
awesome. Okay, so let's walk through the whole thing from the beginning and then we'll do it with music. So we're just gonna add that piece on from the beginning, but I'm gonna walk you through it. I'm gonna give you counts so that we're not like so worried about the taps over the music and stuff yet. Let's just work on walking through it. All right, so from the top, we have five, six, five, six, seven, eight. able to tap and talk at the same time like I could before this past summer. <laughs> but I'm getting there. I'm training. I'm working on it. <laughs> All right, so that's the whole walkthrough. Let's try the whole thing from the top. We learned a whole combination today, which is just so cool. I love this. Have some fun with it. All right? First time doesn't count. We're just getting used to how the transitions go. We're just seeing how it all fits together. No pressure. Doesn't count. Let's do it. pressure still. You're learning. This is a class, so no pressure. Absolutely no pressure. There's no pressure allowed in any of my classes, actually. I was having this conversation with my students. They're like, you're so laid back. And I'm like, I'm a tap dancer. <laughs> like, everything's just fun. Everything's just music. When you're just jamming 24-7 with your feet and in your head, like, how can you be like anything but laid back. And outside of tap, I am not laid back. I am a type A person. I am very, very stressed out. Very, like, I have all these things I need to accomplish. But when I'm tapping, psh, that's when it all goes away. So, embody that psh. That's weird. But anyway, let's do it. <laughs> all right. Second time through, still no pressure. <laughs> today and it is to one of the greatest songs of all time. Have some fun with it, okay? Jam out with me. Because I swear I will be jamming to this song and this dude's music all day, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so jam out with me. Let's do it. button and join the tap fam as I'm filming this it's only a couple days after we hit 10,000 subscribers on this channel which is just a dream for me the fact that there are 10,000 of you that want to dance that want to tap dance in general just stop stops the sentence there that want to tap dance that is so cool but also that want to tap dance with me it just makes me feel amazing and I love teaching you so much. I love the work that I put into this. I love everything that I get to do for this channel and with all of you. So thank you so much for being a part of this fam. Next goal is 100,000 subscribers, and I know I'm only one-tenth of the way there, but let's get there together, all right? Can you imagine 100,000 subscribers on a tap dance tutorial channel? That means everybody's just like, they want to tap. 100,000 tap dancers? That would be insane. Help me out with that. Get your students to subscribe, get like your teachers to subscribe. Help me get there because everything on this channel is meant to be a free tap dance resource. So you have classes on this channel, you have combinations on this channel, like little technique, like one-off videos, tons of stuff on this channel just to make everyone tap dance. So make sure you subscribe. All the music on this channel is perfectly clean, so no need to worry about content issues with like young and old. I do have a couple of tutorials that are based for like little littles. Um, I'm working on coming out with some more. Music rights are always a problem when it comes to kids music. So I'm working on it. Promise it's coming. But yeah, subscribe. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Also hit the thumbs up button because it tells the algorithm that people like tap dance and that helps every tap dance channel. And I'm out here to spread the love of tap dance. So thumbs up subscribe. I hope you had so much fun with me today. And as always, thank you for dancing with me.